Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachah Kodash. Okay, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Kazakh Shalom to the hopeful elect. His brothers are Raya Allah. Coming back with another spirit. Through, coming back through the spirit with another lesson. Okay. Uh, going into a uh, faith. Okay. Because faith uh, requires action. Faith requires taking initiative. Okay. And I'm just going to grab a couple of precepts and going into that word faith. Okay. This is the book of Second Edges, chapter 13 and verse 23. Okay. And it reads, He that shall endure the peril in that time have kept himself. They that be fallen into danger are such as have works and faith towards the Almighty, man. Okay, so let's break this down. Okay, it says, He that shall endure the peril in that time. Okay, because the scriptures take about that him that uh him that have kept my word, right? Or he that have uh patience, uh roughly paraphrasing, I will keep he from the hour of temptation. Okay, so the Lord uh, it's keeping us, but ultimately we're keeping ourselves, man, because we have faith in the Lord Yahweh Shai, and we kept it saying, we kept the precepts, okay? We were trying to live uprightly, all right, through this grace period, okay? So it's his, it says that he shall endure the peril in that time. And what time is it speaking about? It's speaking about Jacob's trouble. It's speaking about the uh, the times of the mandatory uh, karagma, okay? The times that we're going into, uh, persecution, all right? The Lord... He's going to put the spirit on us, Yahweh Ratazah, if we're of the elect, to endure those times. Okay? It says, He that shall endure the peril in that time have kept himself. They that be fallen into danger. Yeah, because there's going to be a lot of danger roaming around us, man. All right? We're going to be in the midst of it. Okay? But it says what? Are such as have works and faith towards the Almighty. Okay? So... The Lord is, is going to keep us from that, man. The Lord is going to protect us because the scriptures speak about him being our buckler, his shield. OK, the name of the Lord is a righteous tower and a righteous run of into it. OK, so you knowing the lame. OK, and you having that faith is that is that covering. OK, that shield, that buckler for what? For protecting you from those uh from that danger. OK, verse 24. It says, know this, therefore, that they which be left behind are more blessed than they that be dead. Okay, because you're going to have a lot of people that's going to die. You're going to have, you know, martyrs. All right, for you, how about Shimei Shai? But ultimately, it's better to endure all of it. All right, because what? You're going to see everything. You're going to be, you know what I'm saying, beamed up. You're going to see, like, the end. You, you're going to make it to the end if you be left behind. Okay? So that's basically uh, what it's going into. Now I want to grab the book. Uh, Salaki. Got the book of James, okay, and and this is chapter two, verse fourteen, and it said, "What do if it profit my brethren, though a man say he have faith and have not works? Can faith save him?" All right, so this is a question, okay, and to answer this question, let's go down. Uh, we're gonna jump down to verse seventeen. It says, even so faith, if it have not works, is dead being alone. Okay. So going back to verse 14, it says, what do if it profit my brethren? Though a man say he have faith and not works, can faith save him? All right. So breaking that down, if you say that you have faith, but your actions are in the way that you carry yourself. Okay. The way that you, you move in, in society, the way uh, that you hold yourself accountable when it comes to this truth. Or right? if it doesn't show that. How can you say that you have faith and how can you be saved? All right. If you live in, in, in covetousness, if you live in, in, in wickedness, right, and you're not living in righteousness, okay, rehearsing the righteous acts, how can you say you have faith? Okay. And what and what does that profit you? It profits you nothing. Okay. All it does is it, it, it's, it's going to bring you uh, to damnation and it's going to bring you to destruction. Okay. So uh, going to verse... Uh, so going back to verse 17, it says, even so faith, if it have not works, is dead being alone. OK, because faith and work go hand in hand. They go together and they're, they're in agreement with each other. OK, because if you have faith. OK, what does it say? Verse 18, I'm going to go I'm going to go into it. It says, yeah, man may say thou hast faith and I have works. 
right? Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Okay, so there you have it. So faith, uh, faith doesn't work alone. Okay, neither does work, because that work is going into what your 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 deeds. Okay, your actions. Okay, keeping the law, statutes, commandments. You could say that you you know say you keep the law and everything like that, but we know that we can't keep the law perfectly. So that law is not going to save us. Okay. And then you can say, oh, I have faith in everything like that. And you how about Shem Yah Shai, but are you actually uh, proven to the Lord that you have faith? Because you can, you know, the scriptures speak about saying that uh, with their lips, they do honor me, but with their heart, they are far from me. Okay, so if your heart, if your mind isn't into this, man, then you truly don't have faith. Okay, which uh, goes back to the point of it's being dead. Okay, so uh, going back to verse 18. Salaki, I lost my train of thought. Okay, come going back to verse eighteen. It says, "Yeah, man may say thou hast faith, and I have of works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works." Okay, so that's what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, and then as you read down in the verses, it goes into uh, some examples, which I'll just read just for edification's sake. Okay, so, um. Uh, yeah, because you have people that say, oh I, oh, I got faith and, you know what I'm saying, I believe and everything like that. But what are the actions? So how are they living a life uh, accordingly, man? Are they living after the spirit or are they living after the flesh? Okay, so when you go to verse 21, <laughs> so like, <laughs> so like it. I'm going to read verse 20. It says, but wilt thou, but wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Okay. So just letting you know that if 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 you don't have the works, it, it's dead. Okay. Now, uh, before I go in, into those verses, let's get that word faith. Okay. And this is the uh, Marion uh, Webster uh, dictionary. Okay. When I looked up the word faith, it says it's a noun. Okay. It says allegiance to duty or a person. Okay. It says loyalty, man. Okay. Loyalty. So we supposed to be loyal to Yahweh Shem Shai, man. Okay. And how are we being loyal to you? How about Shem Yon Shai? All right. By our actions, man. Because what does it say? It says, uh, and uh, B, the second uh, definition it says sincerity of intentions acted in good faith, man. So actions, okay, and sincerity, man. So your intentions are what? To serve you. How about Shem Yon Shai? Okay, we're serving you. How about Shem Yon Shai with a purpose, man. Okay, by our faith. Okay, by showing that brotherly love, man. Okay, by not being envious, by not being covetous to our brother. Okay, by giving charity, giving alms. Okay, preaching this word, man. That's love. Okay, that's loyalty and that's faith. Okay, um, also says, uh, belief in traditional doctrines of religion. It says, firm belief in something for which there is no proof. Whoo, okay, because uh, the scriptures say, uh, matter of fact, I'll just get it real quick, just for edification's sake. Hebrews 11, okay, because we didn't need proof, all right, to believe that Yahweh Yahweh was real, all right, we didn't need proof of that, man. We believed, okay, uh, that he was real by just hearing the word, okay. So, this is uh, Hebrews 11 and 1. It says, Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen, okay? Because you have a lot of Israelites, okay, that may need, you know, actual proof to believe in this truth. And they're going to be uh, in a time where a lot of people may wake up at the last second. Why? Because they needed that, you know what I'm saying, uh, that proof to, to believe, okay? They needed shit to, you know, hit the fan for them to wake up. But, hey, that's all a part of the lot, and that's a whole other topic. Uh, but going back to the point, it says Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, man. Okay? So, we didn't need to, to see the chariots to believe that they are real. Okay? We believe on this word, and we see the scriptures, and that's enough proof and evidence for us. Okay? So, going back to the definition. All right? Um, I'm going to go to the R. Uh, Thessararis. Okay? And it says a noun... And it says synonyms and antonyms, okay? So uh, the first definition, it says 
of belief and trust and loyalty to the heavenly father it says a people who are known for their strong and steadfast faith man and we know that those people are the israelites man okay um let's see oh it says related words it says devoutness okay let's look into that word devoutness it says the quality or state of being spiritually pure or virtuous okay spiritually pure man okay so you're sawing after the spirit man you're making yourself clean and you're washing yourself with this word man that's being pure okay that's being holy okay it says blessedness godliness holiness sainthood okay sanctify saintship okay con that's beautiful okay con um let's go back it says worship con let's go into worship it says excessive admiration of or devotion to a person man and it says excessive admiration and devotion to a person man okay so we are we are excessively okay uh and devoted to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, man. Okay. It says synonyms. It says hero ship. <laughs> we know that the, the, the true hero is, is Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, man. Okay. And obviously he has these other, you know, definitions, but we just wanna, you know, get the meat and spit off the bones. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can find something else. Salaki. So um Let's see. Uh, Salaki, bear with me. It was another one I found earlier. Lord willing, I can find it through the spirit. Uh, okay, it says confidence. It says trust. Okay. Okay, let's go back up. Salaki, let's see. Uh, it says profession. Okay. It says affirmus affirmation. Affirmation, Salaki. It says assertion, claim. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's go back. Uh reverence. Con. It says to offer honor or respect to someone. As a divine power. See, look, that's beautiful. It says devotes coming to reverence to to a coming to reverence their God, man. We know that our God is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel. Okay? Which the true name is Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? And that's what we honor and respect. And how do we honor and respect? By keeping his ways. By following in the footsteps of our big brother Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Following the righteous way, going on to the righteous path, man. It says related words. It says admire, honor, love, regard, respect. Okay? Because that's what all is about, man. Because when you have that faith, you have that, that love towards your brethren. You have that love towards your how about Shimei Shai. Okay? And you're going to take initiative. You're going to take action. Okay? Because faith requires action and taking an initiative. Okay? Now, let's go back to the scripture. Okay? Uh, it says uh, James... Uh, chapter 2 and verse uh, 20. It says, But will thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Because faith without works is dead, man. Okay? If you ain't if you ain't putting in no work, if you ain't, you know, showing your, your actions, okay, then you ain't proving yourself, then you, you don't really have the faith. Okay? Because as it is written, he says, I will show my faith by my works, man. Okay? Verse 21. Okay, and this is a quick example. It says, Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Whew. And that took a lot of faith to do that, man. Okay, that took a lot of faith. Okay, Abraham took initiative because he feared the Lord Yahweh, man. Okay, verse 22. It says, Seeing thou have faith wrought with his works and by works was faith made perfect verse 23 and the scripture was fulfilled which says abraham believed okay he believed man yahweh and it was imputed unto him for his 
imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Okay, so it was counted unto him righteousness, man, because he believed, man. Okay, just like how we believe and we have that faith on Yahweh by Shem Shai, that's counted to unto his righteousness, man, because it starts with believing. It starts with having that faith. Okay, when you have that faith, or right, and you believe, that gives you access to Yahweh by Shem Shai through. Uh, so like it gives you access to Yahweh, uh, through Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, when you have that faith and when you believe, and once and once you have that, you're gonna uh, you're gonna fear the Lord Yahweh while Yahweh Shai, and you're gonna uh take initiative. Okay, you're gonna live out your uh your life on a day to day basis serving Him, man. Okay. Verse twenty four, it says, "Ye see then how that by works." A man is justified and not by faith only. Okay, so look, we, we can't be, you know, justified by faith only, man. We got to be justified by uh, works and faith, man. All right, because you, 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 you can't have faith without works, man. It just, it just doesn't go well. All right, so with that, I'm going to just, you know, end it off with that. So, uh, like I said before, man, you know, you just have to continue to take initiative. Okay, keep striving. Are to serve Yah by Shem Yahshai the best of your abilities, okay. Keeping the faith and holding on, especially so lucky during these times, man. All right, because we want to be saved and we want to be covered. All right, we want to be protected. Okay, starting to myself first and foremost, man. All right, so with that, you know, uh, so lucky. I pray that this lesson was edifying, you know, through the Spirit. Okay, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Hashem. Okay, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Kazakh Shalawam to the hopeful elect, Kwame Asharala and Shalawam.